all right uh, let's start with the second lecture uh, in this lab we'll be working with matlab and python uh, for matlab you have the software uh, for python python in particular uh, there are many many places where you can actually exercise uh, for example you can use jupyter lab that is the most widely used jupyter notebook or jupyter lab uh, then you have pycharm okay it is also a nice uh, nice place or you can use colab Okay. Yes. Our Anaconda. Okay. Uh, all of these are free, so you can just download. Okay, and you can actually practice all of those things here, Python in Python. But uh, we'll start Python uh, after the midterm. Okay. Uh, before mid, we'll be actually discussing MATLAB. So in this lab, okay, in this uh, starting uh, today, I'll be uh, discussing with you some of the very basic terminologies of MATLAB. Okay. Uh, fundamental basic terminologies okay so listen very carefully because uh, these of uh, uh, these things will actually uh, come again and again in the next lectures so try to understand okay, a little bit and um, try to keep a note okay it will be very helpful later on so let's start now let's start with first one is uh, variable uh, variable Achha, before that let's go to the our matlab okay so this is our actually matlab environment so you probably have uh, this one first uh, here you can see this is named as command window okay and here you have workspace okay and this one in particular at first this is what we call okay this okay this one this is what we call the directory okay this is where uh, your files are gonna be saved so I will suggest you to change the directory to uh, a particular folder. For example, I have many folders. I am pushing it here. Okay. So this is my folder that I created, Triple Four Four One Six MATLAB. So you can also create a folder like this. Okay. So whatever you uh, write, whenever you write a program or whenever you write a function, everything will be saved in this directory. Now to do these things, you have to go here. So this is this one. Browse for folder. You can just browse for folder. Uh, say go to local disk F, then your create a folder and go to that folder it will automatically happen okay so select a particular folder but every time you start matlab it will probably by default it will be in c so just uh, you can check it here and you can just go to that uh, go to that directory every time okay and uh, remember this directory because uh, whenever you are uh, writing functions you will need that okay later on you will see so this is the first step so always fix your directory first okay so let's write it down uh, otherwise um, later you might forget so directory this is the faster step now now let's uh, work uh, in the home button okay in the home button you can see there is new script new live script now if you're using uh, 2016 and or the later audition, latest editions uh, you will find this new live script otherwise the previous editions this is not available so don't worry about it we will not be working in that much so let's open a new script okay so uh, this is the place and you can just fix it or you can just uh, put it up otherwise uh, then you will have a lot of places here okay so this is what you call an editor okay the editor is where you are going to write your code okay you can also write your code here but uh, for example when you are writing 10 lines of code or 15 lines of code always use the editor okay when you are writing like just like a, a one line of code or just checking something checking a function use this common window okay so let's start for example let's see uh, like i said uh, uh, let's write a function for example let's write a variable for example a is equal to phi that means i am defining this value phi to this variable a so whenever i write this variable okay you can see in the workspace the variable will automatically appear any variable that I define here will automatically come here I can also do that here for example say I can write b is equals to say 10 okay uh, then I have to save it first okay you can just control save it okay control save or you can manually do it from probably what is the save function yeah there is save okay you can actually just give a name for example say intro and give a name intro uh, now you can see it has been saved as a dot m file okay any matlab file that you actually save it will be saved as a dot m okay that is the extension for matlab then you can go to the editor and here is this run option 
okay in the editor and this run action run option just run it you will see this has been run you can see uh, this name this is the name of the file that you created this file actually ran this was the value was there and it automatically appeared here in the workspace okay now let's say i write for from some uh, arithmetic operation a plus b so the value is already saved you don't have to define the value again it is already in the workspace you can work with all the values that are in the workspace okay so a plus b is equal to 15 say i define another variable c that is equals to a multiple by b okay that is 50 okay so i have now c and this variable is also here in the workspace okay uh, so let's uh, i hope it is clear just pause the video if you need just practice a little bit otherwise uh, you will not get yourself familiar with the matlab okay try to practice so we have directory we have second one we have command window okay command window okay then we saw our script okay our script and then okay and here we have defined a variable right so we have defined a variable uh, these are the variables okay now this uh, these operations like plus or minus okay these are just similar as the basic uh, operations that you use in your real life so a divided by b everything is same okay so these are the variables that we have defined okay now so this is our first step now let's take a look a bit further say so for example x is equals to i have defined 5 comma 10 now as you can see i have used this third bracket okay so i when i'm using third bracket i am creating an array okay an array or a vector so in the second one after one so we have array or a vector okay so for vector we use this third bracket notation okay so we use this third bracket notation that is creating an array x equals to 5 or 10 or say y is equals to 6 comma 12 okay this is another error you can see all the variables that you are uh, all the uh, variables that you're creating here all are saved in the workspace okay sorry i can forget to write it here so this is the workspace okay so we have created an array and a variable a variable and an array okay now by matlab in matlab matlab actually is a short form for matrix laboratory okay, i said that in the last laboratory okay so matrix laboratory means it is actually matlab actually works on matrix manipulation so when i am writing an array for example when i am writing an array say 2 comma 2 comma 5 comma 6 so you can think of it as a row vector as well if you remember from your intermediate knowledge a row vector is like uh, one row and three columns right one row three columns so you can call it a, a row vector or a row matrix as well okay similarly we can actually uh, write for example y is equals to six then a colon <coughs> you can see as i have used a semicolon not a colon a semicolon then now you have a column vector instead of a row vector you have a column vector now so we'll use comma to uh, uh, create a row we'll use this semicolon to create a create a different row okay so this is my row vector this is my column vector you can actually both uh, we can call both as an array okay so we have two arrays right now so if we go here we have seen so we have row vector so here we have row or column vector okay so we have seen so far a variable we have also seen an array now if we look at it like set so if i say do something like this for example say one comma two okay that means they are in the same row then i am uh, putting a semicolon there there that means i am going to a new row then i am putting six comma say eight now what do we have now we have a 2 by 2 matrix if you remember from your intermediate this is a 2 by 2 matrix okay i can also uh, create like another variable for example say let's make it jet. okay so 1 comma comma 9 okay. 0 0 comma 8 comma 
okay now you have say 2 by 3 matrix i have two rows and three columns okay so this is a matrix so everything is actually like a matrix and another thing if you uh, saw there when i am writing this new jet the previous jet was overwritten now in your workspace the jet value is now this one so don't use the same variable because if you use the same variable then it will be overwritten okay so be careful here so we have a row vector column vector and now we have a matrix okay so far we have seen how to write a variable we have seen how to write a uh, array or vector or say simply a matrix okay uh, let's take a look at another one for example say i want to write name okay say for example k is equals to see this one for example this is my name asif sorry okay so for example if i write asif so i have used this colon uh, sorry my colon apostrophe okay this actually means a, a character array okay this is what we call three a character array okay previously what we did here so this was an this was a numeric array so this x it was a numeric array because all of them are numbers okay now what we have done here we have created a character array and now we don't have the third bracket rather than we have we are using this apostrophe okay and we can also use say for example write another one say l is equals to say for example say harry okay so instead of apostrophe i use this quotation mark okay if this is also i have another one so using this this is also a string or character array you can see for now there is a difference subtle difference in matlab but it doesn't matter for now you can use both of this thing apostrophe or the uh, this quotation mark to define a string okay by simple we can actually call them a string for now okay a string later you will see there is a little difference um, in matlab actually they are actually defined as a little difference between these two so so far so you have learned three things one is a variable a array or a matrix then you have this character array or a string now to define a character array string we can use this quotation mark okay or we can use this double quotation okay both are both are fine okay so remember this actually a small signs okay what you are using for which because otherwise they will actually get jumbled up all of those things and try to actually uh, i would say i would suggest try to uh, practice a little bit in your matlab for now also okay uh, let me introduce to one other one other thing in particular for example n is equals to i have used a second bracket now okay uh, for example 7 comma 9 okay now you can see it is named as a cell array okay this is actually an another type of array uh, these are actually uh, different in particular in the next video we'll actually see why they are actually different but for now understand this is another type so this is the fourth type that is our okay cell array okay cell array so for now we have used this third bracket okay so let's get clear okay. whenever uh, whenever i am using okay whenever i am uh, writing an array or a vector or a matrix i am using this third bracket you know sorry that should happen so whenever i am creating a matrix i will use this third bracket everything inside whenever i am using a character array i will use this apostrophe whenever i am creating a cell array i will use this third bracket notation okay so sorry for the quick uh, crude writing okay just remember this thing now and remember the names for now okay in the next video we'll actually uh, see the difference between these three okay uh, okay all right